Well, howdy, everybody. What we're going to be looking at now, so far we've been solving and graphing linear inequalities in one variable. And what I mean by one variable is there has only been an X or one letter in the problem. Well, today we're going to get into um, doing things with two variables. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to graph a linear inequality that has two variables. All right. Um, solutions to a linear equality in two variables are basically going to be all of the points that make the inequality true. As an example, um, let's say if I have 2x plus 3y is less than 6, I'm just looking for what points can I put in there, like what points on a graph would make this inequality too, true. So I'm just going to come up with a couple and we'll see if they work. So let's say is 0, 1 a point that makes the inequality true. So if I plug 0 in for the x and 1 in for the y, I would get 0 plus 3 is less than 6. 3 is less than 6. That's true. So yes, 0, 1 is a solution. Okay. Let's say if I tried um, 1, 7. So if I wanted to know if, is 1, 7 a solution, I would plug 1 in for the 2 and 7 in for the y. Um, I'd get 2 times 1 plus 3 times 7. That would give me 2 plus 21, which gives me 23. 23 is definitely not less than 6, so this was a false statement. So no, 1, 7 is not a solution. So what we're looking for when we're solving a linear inequality is all the points that would make the solution true. And we're going to find out there are a lot of points. So just like what we do when we do one variable, we end up doing some shading. We're going to do the same thing with these problems. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and give you some steps and then we're actually going to get into the problems. Step one is we are actually just going to graph the equation. So this will give us good graphing practice if we are a little bit rusty at it. Um, if there is a less than or greater than sign, we are going to put a dashed line um, this would be similar to there's no equal sign underneath, so we're not including it in the solution. We can't do an open circle all the way down our line, so we'll do a dashed line instead. Okay, if there's less than or equal or greater than or equal, notice this time there is an equal sign. We do get to include it in the solution. We will have a solid line, just like what we have a filled in circle. All right, the step, next step is we are going to be testing a point in either half plane, and I'll be explaining that when we get into an example, so just hold off on that. If when I test, I get a true statement. We're going to shade the side, not with, that contains the point. If it's false, we are going to shade the side that does not contain the point. And this will all make sense when we start doing some examples. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, I have y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. So again, what we're trying to do is come up with all the points on my xy plane that if I plug them in here, would give me a true statement. Okay, the way that we're going to do this is first of all, just graph. First of all, I know that it's going to involve a little bit more than just drawing a line because there is an inequality symbol. So there's going to be lots of different answers I have to consider. We're just going to graph this as if it said y equals negative 2x plus 3. Okay, and hopefully this will just give us good graphing practice. Remember, we're going to start up at a y-intercept of 3, and then we're going to go down 2 over 1. And then I do have to notice there is an equal sign, so I'm actually going to connect um, with a uh, solid line to show all of those numbers, points that are on there would actually work in this problem. Okay, and then from here, um, I said we're going to either test test either half plane. What this line just did is separated the graph into two halves. This is a half right here, and then this is a half over on the other side. So we're going to find out that either all the points on this, on the right side of the line work, or all the points on the left side. And we're going to test a point. I generally like to test the point 0, 0. So what I'm going to do is actually put 0 in for the x and 0 in for the y and see how it turns out. So I'm going to have 0 is less than or equal to. If I plug 0 in here, it's going to be negative 2 times 0 plus 3. So that's going to give me 0 is less than or equal to. Negative 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. So I need to look. Is 0 less than or equal to 3? Is that a true statement? Yes, it is a true statement. If you're not sure, especially with your less than and greater than signs, is the mouth of this eating the bigger number? Yes, 3 is the bigger number, so just saying. Okay, so we found out that this was a true statement, which means all of the points on this side of the line are going to be true. So we're going to shade all of the points on this side of the half plane, which means every point in this section 
works. So just to give you an example now, um, any point over here works. So I could say this point right here, um, negative 2, 1 is a solution. Okay, we could pick another one. I could say um, 0, negative 3 is a solution. Notice there's, I could just go on and on forever about all the others. If I ask you for one that's not a solution, um, I could easily pick like the number 4, the point 4, 2 is not a solution because it's not in my shaded area. And that just means if I want to plug 4, 2 into this equation, I'm not going to get a true answer. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you try this next one. Let me put a number in here. Okay, and go ahead and give it a whirl, pause my video, and then come back and see how you did. All right, this one, again, we're going to just refer to the line y equals 2 fifths x minus 5. Okay, so we're going to start at the negative 5, so at the y-intercept of a negative 5, I'm going to, from there, go up 2 and then over 5. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and connect them, but this time I better watch it. There was no equal sign under here, which means I'm not going to make a solid line. I'm going to make a dashed line to show that the numbers on that line do not work. Okay, and then from here we are going to go ahead and test one side. It's either all the numbers on this side are going to work or all the numbers on that side. So I'm going to test 0, 0. That's just my favorite point to test. So if I plug 0 in for the y and 0 in for the x, I get 0 is greater than 2 fifths times 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. So is 0 bigger than negative 5? Is the mouth eating the bigger number? Yes, it certainly is. So it's a true statement. So I'm going to shade the side that has 0, 0 on it. So there we go. And hopefully you did okay getting that answer. Okay, next problem number 3. We are going to have y is less than... 2, and actually I'm going to make this greater than just so that we get something that doesn't work finally. Let's do y is greater than 2. Okay, the first thing that we want to do, I know that I'm going to get more than one answer because I do have an inequality going on. Um, y is greater than 2. We're just going to go ahead and graph the line y equals 2. And if you recall y equals 2, if the y-axis goes this way, then my y equals line will go this way at 2. So we're going to have a horizontal line. There is no equal sign, which means, whoop, I'm going to make a dashed line to the best of my ability. I don't know why I'm not going very straight there. Sorry about that. It looks like I was doing stitches or something. All right, so we've got this line now going on. And now I'm going to test 0, 0, because that's just, again, my favorite point to test. Okay, so I'm going to plug in 0 for the y. Notice there's no place to plug in 0 for the x. That's no biggie. Okay, I have 0 is bigger than 2. Is 0 bigger than 2? Absolutely no. So this is a false statement, which means I'm not going to shade the side of the line with 0, 0. I'm going to shade the other side. Okay, and once again, what that means is all the points up here actually will work. So um, just to give you an example, if I picked one over here, that's the point 3, 4, 3, 4 is a solution which means if I plugged 3 in for my x and 4 in for my y, I would get a true statement. And then if I ask you for one that's not a solution, I can pick any down here. I think I'll pick 2, negative 2. So 2, negative 2 is not a solution because it does not lie in my shaded area. Okay, let's say I have x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and have you um, try this one and see how you do on it. Pause the video and then come back when you're done to see how you did. Okay, um, we've got x. I'm going to refer to the line x equals negative 3. If the x-axis goes this way, the x equals line goes this way, goes vertically. So we're going to go over to negative 3, and we're going to go ahead. This time it's going to be a solid line because there is an equal sign. Okay, I like to test 0, 0. Again, that's my favorite. So plug in 0, 0. Notice this time there's only a place to plug in the x. That's okay. I get 0 is greater than or equal to negative 3. Is that a true statement? Is the mouth eating the larger number? Yes, it definitely is. So once again, this is a true statement, which means I shade the side of the line that contains the 0, 0. So I'm going to shade this side of the line, which means all of the points over on this side of the problem, including the points that are on the line, are a solution to that problem. 
All right, let's try two more problems. These ones, again, they are lines, and we're just looking for, there's a, a less than or equal to sign here, which means that we are going to um, be sh doing some shading, because more than one, there will be more than one answer. On this one, remember, if I'm going to graph this, I need to have it say y equals, so we're actually doing 2x plus y equals negative 4. Okay, um, we are going to solve this for y, so I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, so I'm going to get y equals negative 4 minus 2x. Okay, when I go to graph that, we don't have to divide by anything because it was just y. So I'm going to go down to negative 4, and then from here I'm going to go down 2 over 1, and then if I come back up here, there is an equal sign, so I get to make a solid line. Okay, notice I am putting my arrows, so I'm going to use 0, 0 as my test point. So I'll put 0 in for my x and 0 in for my y. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 0 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 4? Is the mouth eating the larger number? No. So it is a false statement, which means I'm not going to shade the side of the line with the 0, 0. I'm going to shade the other side. And remember, that means all of the points over on that side work. So it just is a test example again. Um, I could pick any point over in this region. So let's say this time negative 5, negative 3 is a solution. So if I plug that in, it would work. And I would say the point um, 2, 2 is not a solution. Okay, I would like you to go ahead, pause the video, see if you can tackle this one more, and we'll see how you do on it. All right, again, I'm going to refer to the line 6x plus 2y equals 12. To graph this, we'd solve it for y, so I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. I will then get 2y equals 12 minus 6x. I will then divide all three parts by 2. So I'll get y equals 12 divided by 2 is 6, minus 6 divided by 2 is 3x. Okay, I'm ready to graph it. So I'll start at the 6, I'll go up to 6, put a point, and then from there, since it's negative 3, I'll go down 3 over 1. There is no equal sign, so it gets a dotted line or dashed line. Okay, and then again, I'm going to test the point 0, 0. So when I do that, plug 0 in for the x and 0 in for the y. 6 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times 0 is 0, which gives me 0 is greater than 12. Is 0 bigger than 12? Absolutely not. So this is once again a false statement. So I'm not going to shade the side of the line that has the 0, 0. I'm going to shade the other side of the line. And voila, I have my solution. All the points over on this side of the line will work in that inequality. So hopefully now you can graph a uh, linear inequality in two variables.